Alright folks, how are we doing? It's Mr. Carter here, ready to do home link 7.9. Go ahead and put your name on this if you haven't yet already, and let's begin. So we're talking about perimeter patterns and um, just the relationship within certain numbers. So we're going to take a look in the problem. So it was here, it's Alice was making squares out of toothpicks. Uh, and she noticed the pattern uh, involving the length of one of the sides and the perimeter of the square. So complete the table and then answer the questions below. So she noticed that when the side length was one, if you take a look, it's here and she kind of, let me go back up here. Here we go. So yeah, so she noticed that when the side was one, that the perimeter would uh, be four because you have one, two, three, four. So she has another uh, square here out of toothpicks and this time each side has two. So you go in, so the side length would is two, so the perimeter would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now what I did to figure out the rest, I went ahead and drew other squares with um, the toothpicks here. So I went ahead and drew a square with three toothpicks. So you'll see one, two, three on each side. So if I count each side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So when the square has a perimeter of 12, we know that each side is three. Now over here, I have a square with uh, four rectangles on each side. So, and that's what the side length is. So it's one, two, three, four toothpicks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And I drew uh, another square down here with a side length of five toothpicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the perimeter is 20, and that means that each side is five toothpicks long. So let's take a look here. So write a rule that describes the relationship between the length of one side and the perimeter of the square. Well, um, the side is four times, I'm sorry, the perimeter is four times what the side is. So the perimeter is four times the side length. So if you look here, the side length is two, so you go four times two, that will be eight. And you go four times three, that's 12. Four times four is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. So what would the perimeter of a square uh, with a side length of 25 toothpicks be? Okay, so let's try to figure that out. So if we have one side that's 25 toothpicks long, we know that, again, our rule is the perimeter equals 4 times the side length. So if we go 4 times 25, that would mean that you would have 100 um, toothpicks uh, on um, total for your perimeter. So now for number three, it's asking you now, uh, what would be the side length of a square with a perimeter of 500 toothpicks? So now it's asking you the opposite. So you're given the perimeter and um, now you got to figure out the side length. So what you would do is you go 500 divided by four and that would equal 100 and 25, and you can do that with partial quotients just to kind of check it. So I wrote here the answers already. So I said it's asking you to describe at least two other patterns you, you'll notice on the table. Well, all the perimeters I noticed are even numbers, and also that the perimeters are multiples of four. So you might have some other pattern that you might have noticed, so I'd be curious to figure out what those are, or to hear what those are. Um, so yeah, so let's look at our practice below. Our practice below is, uh, hold on a second here, we're doing some dividing, so I'm going to do five and uh, six for you, and I'll have you do the rest on your own, try to figure that out. So let's do number five was uh, 753 divided by, uh, divided by three. So I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, partial quotient. So I'm going to go ahead right away with a big number and go 200, because I know two times Three is six, and with our extended facts, that would make it 600. Okay, so I'll go ahead and subtract. 
that gives me 3 and 5 and 153. So I know that <clears throat> I can do 50 because 5 times 3 is 15 with your extended factor of 150 here. So 3 take away 0 is 3, and that leaves me just with 3. So I'm going to just go one more, because 1 times 3 is 3, and that will bring me to the 0. And now we've got to add our side thing, so 251 is our answer. Okay, so number six was 386 divided by two. Again, I'm gonna go with 100, because <clears throat> I know that 100 times two is 200. That will bring me close. So six, take away zero is six. Eight, take away zero is eight. Three, take away two is one. So I can't quite do another 100, so I'm gonna try, I know, 90 because 9 times 2 is 18, and that's an extended fact. So, that, so 9 times 2 is 18 with your 0 here. That's 180. So I'm left with 6. Now I know that 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to go 3 times 2 is 6. That brings me to uh, 0. So now we can add our side thing. So it's 190 plus 3. So it's 193 is our answer. Okay. Excellent. So that's it for now. Uh, if you have questions, please come see me. Hope this is helpful. Take care.